Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it is Friday, December the 22nd. I know I usually do fish on Fridays, but I got to get this video in somehow. And I'm going to show y'all something that I grew up with during the Christmas, December, and even January. Old school fried quail and sweet potatoes. Now, I'm doing candy yam for this one. But usually, my mama would fry it up and serve with baked sweet potatoes. Oh, my God, y'all. It's absolutely amazing. And while we had quail this time of year, you know, quail season is open right now here in the state of Texas. It runs through October to February. Uh, the, the, October to February is quail season in the state of Texas. So my daddy, he used to kill quail like crazy, bring it home. My mama would get all the buckshot out of it. BB, you know, you kill quail with a shotgun, y'all. I don't, if you can kill it with a 22, you, you got some skill. You can kill a quail with a 22. You got some shooting skill. But yeah, you kill it with a shotgun. And you kill a lot of them at a time. The buckshots. Mama used to clean the buckshots out of them, feather them up, feather them out, and we'd have quail. Now these are uh, already clean for me. I got these, purchased these on the market. These are already deboned, defeathered, and everything, y'all. Absolutely amazing. And people say, what do quail taste like? Quail to me tastes like a cross between chicken and a duck. If chicken and a duck had a baby, I think it would taste just like a quail, y'all. That's what it tastes like. I absolutely love them. And can I eat all four of these? Absolutely. Because the quail is a very small bird. Yeah. If you ever, have, have ever had quail, have never had it, don't fall asleep on it. Don't take long to cook them. A very tender meat, the breast meat, the thigh meat, every part of the quail meat is tender. So with that being said, we're going to do it as simple, just like my mom, just like we would do it in a restaurant. We're just going to put salt and pepper on there. That's it. That's all you need on these bad boys. Like I said, they have such a good flavor content in them. By itself, the meat, all you want to do is kind of enhance it a little. So we're going to season both sides with salt and pepper. That's it. I got my grease heating up over here. And we're going to do the frying method. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. We're going to do the fry method. Flour, buttermilk, and flour. That's how we're going to do it. So let's get started here. This is going to be a quick video. Vlogmas has been a long month for Vlogmas. Vlogmas is almost over, y'all. Hope y'all enjoying the Vlogmas. This is a little different video, but the one I had to get in. Okay, we're going to put the, I just got all purpose flour in this bag. Let's say you see your quail, salt and pepper. If you want to put something else in there, you can, but it's not necessary, y'all. Don't y'all know me by now. Do not over season your meat with a lot of seasoning and spices. It doesn't take that. People put five, six, ten. I saw somebody put twelve spices on some meat one time on a video. It's like, what are you doing? You're not gonna be able to taste nothing. So anyway, got that flour down. Now we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna put some buttermilk in here. Make sure this whole buttermilk, y'all know that's what I like. The whole buttermilk in there. Why do you use whole buttermilk? Because it clings better to the uh, to the quail or anything you're doing. So, kind of dust this off, this flour off of here. Throw that in the buttermilk. Throw it in the buttermilk right there. Then we're going to come back. We're going to put it back in the flour and into this grease I got heating up over here. Just kind of mash that down in there, y'all. Y'all see my fingers getting better now. I took the Band-Aid off. I'm, I'm working. Y'all already took a month, y'all. It's been over a month since I cut my finger off. So, yeah, so I'm doing good now. Took the Band-Aid off. Got to kind of, little by little, let it kind of get some air. So I'm doing good. So, all right. Got that going. We're gonna let this grease heat up just a little and we'll be right back. Put it in the fryer. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Okay, y'all. Now, time to fry these bad boys off. Okay, all I'm gonna do, y'all, we're gonna take them, put them right into the to the flour. Nothing fancy. See how easy that is, y'all. That's so easy, right? We'll take these and just dust them around. Give it that shape. 
get it get fully coated. Now we're gonna move y'all over here to the free grease. Now I got my, I ain't doing a video on the sweet glazed candy yams. I did that last month. I'll put a, a description of the video if you want to. I forgot I got them in the oven right now cooking as we speak. So I already did a video on candy yams. Okay. All we're gonna do now, y'all, we're gonna fry these like chicken, y'all. Right into the grease. Fried chicken, chicken fried quail. Looks like my mom used to do it. I'm telling y'all, if you never had fried quail, you're selling, what they say, you're selling yourself short. Life is too short, y'all. You got to, you got to try it out. So we're going to let them bad boys kind of fry up a little till they get brown there. And I'll probably finish them in the oven. It's not necessary, but I might finish them in the oven to make sure they fully cook. cooked. But quail doesn't take long at all, y'all. I'm telling you. This meat here cooks very, very quickly. Move them around a little bit. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back when it's time to flip them over. All right, y'all. Back here. Quail been cooking a couple of minutes. I'm going to flip them over here. On the other side, you got that nice golden brown color on them. Definitely what you want. And like I said, y'all, what we're going to do, we're going to finish these bad boys in the oven. After they cook on the this side a couple of minutes, I'm going to put it on my sheet pan with a rack. I just put it in the oven about six, seven more minutes, not even that long. Like I can say, quail cook so quickly. And you definitely, you can't really overcook it. Like it's gonna be dry. I mean, the quail is that tender with meat, but you don't want to cook it too long. Yeah. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. All right, y'all, I'm gonna turn this off. All I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna finish these bad boys off in the oven. I'm putting on my sheet pan here with a rack. Cause I got so much braiding on there, y'all, that I rather them finish in the oven. See that? Finish them in the oven, then let them get too dark. So, anyway, we'll be right back. I'll put them in the oven. We'll be right back. I'll show you my candy yams, and then we'll plate this up. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. All right, y'all, I just took my candy yams out of the oven, and my quail, I got about two more minutes. I just want to show y'all that, the nice candy yams that I'm going to eat with my quail. And like I said, I ain't doing a, a video for this. I already did a video for this for on Thanksgiving. So just go search old school candy yams, the old school sweet potatoes, and this video will come up. That's the one with the secret ingredient and the butterscotch glaze in it. So yeah, y'all go check that out. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back once my quail is done. And we're going to take me back to my childhood, y'all. Old school fried buttermilk fried quail, buttermilk chicken fried quail, and candy yam. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Quail is ready. Sweet potato candy yams is ready. Look at this plate here, y'all. Plate of goodness. Got them candy yams on there. Got that fried quail on there. Hey, don't get no better than this, right? Uh, see how see how excited I'm getting, y'all. I'm so excited here with this damn food. <laughs> I'm knocking over. I'm knocking over my tripod, y'all. I'm knocking over my tripod here. So anyway, y'all. Like I said, I did a recipe, a video last year on last year. Ugh. Last week, see, I'm, I, I don't do too many videos in the world now. On the candy yams, y'all, glazed sweet potato, however you want to say it. So just go back and just search old school glazed sweet potato candy yam. So let me try them first. Got to try the candy yam. Nice tender potato. You know, they got that secret glaze on there. Y'all don't know what it is, where you been, where you been. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Mm. Well, anyway, it's about the quail, right? How easy to pull that leg off of there. That's how trim the quail is. Look at that. Juicy. Mm. See how juicy it is? That's natural. Quail is so underappreciated. A lot of people don't know about quail. You know why? Or somebody done told them, oh, the quail ain't no good. Oh, I ain't eating no quail. I don't know what they just try it. Get out of your comfort zone sometimes. 
and try some foods that you never tried before. Go in there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, y'all. Like I told y'all, you think I can eat all four of these? Absolutely. Oh, look how tender it is here. See? See how tender the quail is? Look at that. See the bone? Pick it up. Mm. Look at that, y'all. That's good eating, huh? That's good eating. And some sweet potatoes. Right here. This is my childhood in the in the winter time. Quail season. Oh my God. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. I know it's fish Friday. So I ain't get no fish recipe. I had to put my had to get my quail in there, y'all. Had to get that in there. Anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, Please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, CB, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023, just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Vlogmas Day 22 is done. Love y'all.